Well, I deleted the video that I just did. <laughs> Maybe I'll show Trilar. Maybe I'll show some of the special stuff here. I've literally found 60 gigabytes of photos that I thought were lost and gone forever. Pictures of people I love so much. And these are pictures that I thought were gone. Wow. Old work photos. Photos of this room when it was white, when I had the old setup in here with the two big tall Kenwood speakers stacked up to a seven feet. It was, it was pictures I thought were gone forever. Wow. Pictures of Harmony when she was a baby that looked exactly like her daughter. Oh, I'm so happy. See, when the universe shits on you, there's balance, if you allow it. And so last night, all night, every time I woke up, I was pissed off at Amazon and so glad that I dumped my Prime. And see, that's why. That's why they forced delivered products to us last night. Individual driver, because they lied to us. The whole scheme with the truck is moving thing and all that. They lied to us. They were individually delivered in a vehicle for $80, the guy said. He was paid $80 to drive the product. This is after I was online complaining to Amazon. Look, we don't want, we don't want these delivered at 10 o'clock tonight. Your truck has been stationary now for 90 minutes. It's obvious something's broken down. Please do not deliver packages at 10 o'clock at night. We will be sleeping. And you, we, you will be leaving ex very expensive equipment outside on a porch exposed. If it rains or anything else, all that's going to get ruined. They paid a guy $80 to drive my WD hard drives up here from, let's see, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, Anderson. It's at least... 14, 15 miles. They paid him $80. Just that item. The one that I was complaining about. That's because I quit Prime. The PlayStations that I got. I haven't been able to get a PlayStation or an answer to my invite in two years. The day I quit Prime, fucking two PlayStations on their way to my house. If I was you, I would quit Prime today and keep that year or whatever you've paid for and start getting some improved service from Amazon because <laughs> that's what happened. I, uh, I liked the Amazon delivery thing because I could see exactly when it was going to be delivered so they didn't leave packages outside because it's not a good neighborhood. The apartments up there are alcoholics making their way down to the liquor store and these apartments are making their way up to the heroin uh, crank dealers up here. And so they pass through our neighborhood and they cross right over the, our, our sidewalk. We're actually thinking about putting a walkway in for them to make it, you know, so they're not walking on, on, on dirt. I think the latest that a package should be delivered by Amazon is seven o'clock, seven o'clock. Otherwise, you're gonna have to follow my directions. You see, they'll allow you to put it in a garage They'll give a total stranger who just works for Amazon access to your garage, but they won't put it in a dedicated delivery area stoop that we had purposely made right here. We had another door put in, so we have a locked door, a locked door, and this outside door opens to two locked doors. And there's a table right there and there's stairs right there to set packages. All of my postal people, my UPS people, my uh, FedEx people, they all know where to put the packages and they all do that. You know who won't do it? Amazon. They won't even put it in your mailbox. They throw it on your porch and they take a picture and walk off and that absolves them of all responsibility, which is how I've been losing so much money over the years. So I was rewarded today when I got up and bam, 
Here is glorious happiness. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. Found it by accident. Trying to just, I'm just trying to clean out a hard drive. So I can have a, a good working unit with no information on it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's just amazing to me. <laughs> uh, I thought they were gone forever. Pictures that I could never reproduce of my of my granddaughter. The cutest pictures. The cutest pictures. Pictures of my wife's mother's funeral that I thought were gone forever. We found those. Pictures of my nephew who died. He was killed in a home invasion robbery in Fresno over a bag of fucking weed. Some fucking punk just decided he wanted to be a gangbanger and shot him for no reason. Pictures of my nephew Rob who recently died this year of a heart embolism. Uh, I found them all, all the originals. See? That's the universe saying, uh, we have balance here. We have balance. Everything is happening exactly as it should. I find that hard to believe sometimes and then moments like this tell me, yep, it's exactly true. What they said was true. I'm always doing that. I'm always questioning what happened to me during my near-death experience. And then all throughout my life, I'm proven in my face big time that <laughs> yes, it's, it's exactly as, as you perceived it. So with ugliness came beauty. Just amazing, just amazing. I have pictures though that I'm gonna show you guys. All my original UFO AVIs I found. All the original, take them with the camera. It's amazing. None, not the conversions that I'd been showing, the original. All I found was the one original of Mr. Beautiful AVI that I had made a copy of into another folder. So and I found that, but I couldn't find all the other originals. I found them today, this morning, by accident, just clicking on a folder that said picture of videos and videos and pictures. And I opened it up and here's 80 fucking folders that I'd made, obviously, just here's a copy of everything. This is the problem with having too many backup hard drives. <laughs> yeah, people always ask what that is. That is just part of the scar. That scar goes all the way, it's a V. It starts over here, and it goes up here, and it goes all the way up to there. Motorcycle accident. This scar here, motorcycle accident. This V here, motorcycle accident. Those all happened at one time. That was when I used to ride without a helmet when I was young. Still here, balance. I'm supposed to be here. The shit that I did in my life, I shouldn't be alive. I shouldn't be here, but I'm here because I'm supposed to explain my near-death experience and what I was shown and what I was told. And, I, and I'm trying to do that as best as I can. Last night with Amazon, I just wanted to scream at that guy. I, I actually motherfuckered him about, I don't know, maybe 20 times in one paragraph. <laughs> Telling him, don't end this chat now. Stop texting me. And he would immediately send me another one. Well, we, all, we, we, we surely didn't want this to happen this way. It's always the same answer. It's a robot. And they give it a name. It always has a first name, never a last name, never an associate tacked onto it. It's just a name. And it's a robot. And then when it, it can't help me, it sent me to another robot that sent me to another robot. I went through five AIs last night over this fucking delivery trying to get it stopped because I, I knew it wasn't going to come by 10. And they just kept shifting me to new AIs like that was going to make a difference. The very second they answered me like they're reading off a sheet, 
as far as I'm concerned, that's still automated. If you can't give me an answer as a human being and you're forced to read a script, you might as well be an AI, right? So, oh. Uh, I'm going to be sitting here for literally for six hours going through all of this to straighten it out. But I have it. And I have the originals. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. That guy was paid $80 to deliver my hard drives last night. To drive from Anderson. 80 bucks because I quit Prime. Quit Prime today, ladies and gentlemen. And I guarantee you that you're... Your service will go straight through the roof. They, I never had a chance to get a PlayStation, no matter how many times I asked for the invite and an invitation, invitation, never. The day I quit my Prime, I was able to acquire, one day I was able to acquire a bundle, the next day I was able to acquire a PlayStation 5 disc version. It was a weird ad where it was cocked to the side where it looked like a digital version until I actually clicked on it, opened it up in my cart and there it was disc version because it didn't say digital but it wasn't showing a picture of a digital it would only show that weird picture so balance there you have it balance in the universe so now i'm going to read for a couple of hours and then get back to work